from. Going back to the, the injury, was that your first like problem or incident with your with your shoulder this year, or you had other stuff pre-existing that uh, that led to that? No, I never really had any problems with my shoulders or anything. Like I've had like hiccups here and there, like I don't know, like sprained wrists and that back in the like years ago. But no, I never really anything with my shoulders. So I think I play a pretty physical game. So obviously it it wears on my shoulders. So maybe they're not perfect, but. That's just hockey, your shoulders and knees, you know. You mentioned, you mentioned um, watch, seeing stuff from up top and, and trying to maybe implement in the future some techniques that you, you've identified. Can you, without getting too nerdy about it, can you identify some of those techniques that you would like to implement? Yeah, it's just all about, like, the surfing, like, like surfing guys on the rush and where your stick is and, like, you showing the, the forward, the path they want to take and you, like, closing them because... You allowed him to go there with your stick, and it's all a positioning of stick. And guys' sticks are always on the ice; they're always finishing with the blade. Because usually I'll go and I'll run right through a guy. Like I don't know, I don't think about my stick, but they're they want me to keep my stick on the ice and drive guys with the stick, and then finish from there. So yeah, that's mainly what I've been focusing on. What's been the biggest benefit of working with this with Marty and this coaching staff? Everything. I mean, they are. Like Marty's probably one of the smartest guy I've ever I've ever talked to in hockey, and I think everyone in that locker room will say so. And and obviously Roby, he played a long time and a long career, and he's he's super smart too. I know they're most of them are new to coaching, but man, they've been they've been something special to work with, and it's it's just an honor that I get to uh, get to work with those guys. There's a there's a new, well, not so much a new rule, but the NHL is enforcing a little more the instigator rule for fighting. I was just curious to hear your thoughts on that and. You know whether or not you think uh, the, it's a good idea for the league to, to enforce that. Yeah, I think I when I was playing in junior, that was that was kind of the rule. If you if you were an instigator, you'd sit for ten and two and five, ten and two, I think. So it, it is a long time, and it's it gets guys thinking. Like if if you're gonna go if you're gonna go fight, you're gonna go sit in the box for half the game. So yeah, I think it's uh, rules are obviously there for a reason. So I think that's that's something that they just chose to do. What are your days made of right now? What, it, you know, in terms of training and how do you, you know, are you able to do some 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 upper body work or what do you do? My days, they when I was first injured, they were pretty boring. I just kind of sit around and find something to do. But no, now I'm now I'm back to normal. I go get my treatment in the morning. I will work out after, and then whatever the day's free, so I try and stay busy. But that's been that's been it's been okay. When will you be able to? resume a hundred percent kind of training schedule to prepare for the for the next season we know you'll uh, be ready for the next season right? i'm not sure i think we're on pace right now so i'm not sure once i start skating then we'll start strengthening and obviously it's gonna it's a long process but we'd rather take take the whole summer take everything we need just to make sure it's right and it doesn't happen again so the You're chirping running. on the press box yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, not really. Yourselves? No, I mean, you know, the, like the bantering between all of you guys because there's. Yeah, we yeah we have fun. We chirp each other, and it's it's a it's a hockey team, so it's that's that's how we have our fun. Yeah. Are you staying in Montreal for a summer, or are you going back to? Uh... I think I'll go back for a couple months, and then just to see my family and, and friends, and then I'll I'll be back here to to train. So. Thank you, Arbor. Thanks, Arbor. Thanks, Arbor. Thanks, Arbor. Thanks, Arbor.